Your support helps us bring you programs you love. Go to wyomingpbs.org, click on support, and become a sustaining member or an annual member. It's easy and secure. Thank you. In April, more than 50 youth from across Wyoming were presented with bronze, silver, and gold Wyoming Congressional Award medals at a ceremony in Cheyenne. The national program, with its roots traced to Wyoming, is a non-competitive program for young people ages 13 to 23 who are willing to accept the challenge of setting personal goals to better themselves and their communities. The beauty of this award is that recipients do not need to be the smartest kid in class, or the most popular, or the best athlete. They simply have to be willing to commit themselves to public service, personal development, physical fitness, and the willingness to plan an expedition or exploration event for either themselves or their families. The program is open to anyone, homeschool students, scouts, kids from all walks of life, including youth who may be struggling with a disability can participate. It just takes the desire and a decision to start. Today we'll meet the seven gold medal Wyoming Congressional Award winners. It's next on Wyoming Chronicle. The Congressional Youth Award is an award any student can achieve. It doesn't take having to be the valedictorian or the MVP on the athletic team. It takes someone who has the will and the desire to be part of their community and to be the best that they can be. Wyoming was actually the first state to go on and say, yeah, we want to be involved in this program. There are more Congressional Award winners from Wyoming not per capita, but total, than any other state in the United States, which shows the level of volunteerism uh, in Wyoming. Any young person can win it, and it is the only, actually it's not winning, it's earning it, and it's the only award given by Congress that you can actually earn, and it's dedicated to young people uh, who could give back to their community, who learn a skill, uh, and, and learn levels of, of leadership and commitment. So it's something that the congressional delegation has supported for years. When Malcolm Wallop, Al Simpson, Craig Thomas, Dick Cheney, and now uh, Barbara Cuban, and what uh, Mike Enzi and Cynthia Lummis and I try to do is continue it, raise money for the program, encourage young people to participate, and come every year to congratulate them, to thank them, their parents, the mentors, the teachers who are so involved in the program as well, but so much of it is giving back to the people of Wyoming. I am Cassidy Little. I'm a senior at Encampment High School. I was really interested in the Congressional Award uh, because it was a great new experience that I had never really um, thought about. I was great friends with the previous executive director and when she told me about the award um, and the program, I was really excited to spend the rest of the next five years um, pursuing that uh, community service, um, bettering myself. It was a great experience. I was able to make a difference in young children's lives um, through mentoring. I was able to go out with them uh, once a week and help them through problems that they had in their lives, not only through school but at home. Um, I was able to be there for them. A lot of the time they didn't really care who you were, just that you were there for them. Um, I hope that they might have learned um, that they can make a difference in others' lives too. Uh, because I was there for them, just a smile, a smiling person they're there for them, I hope that they can do that for um, younger children in years to come. <laughs> I want to go to the University of Wyoming to pursue a degree in elementary education. Um, after that, I would love to go and live in a small town teaching um, children in small class sizes. That's where I grew up and I feel that that's one of the best ways that a teacher can um, help a child in their life. Um, I'm a recipient of the Daniels Fund Scholarship. Uh, this scholarship ranges um, in four states and only 250 kids from these four states receive a scholarship every year. The Daniels Scholarship bases a lot of their values, which is service, character. Um, as I build those, 
in, in the Congressional Award, I was able to become the Daniel Sven Scholar. My name is Sarah Burton. I'm from Saratoga, Wyoming. I joined the Congressional Award mainly because of my sister. She got her gold medal in 2012 or something like that. And so I was really interested in that and I was really interested in serving my community and giving back to the community for all they've done for my school and for my family and for me in general. And so I was really interested in giving back in that perspective. The volunteer programs that I have took part in are uh, volunteering at our local Big Brothers Big Sisters, which is also called The Hub. Um, there's kids there from kindergarten all the way up to sixth grade. Any kid could go there and hang out. It's for kids who their parents are always working and trying to support them and support their family. And so I would go there and I'd play games with them or watch a movie with them if that's what they wanted. Or we would go to the pool sometimes during the summer and I'm a lifeguard there so that was uh, really easy for me to help with. Um, I also coached Utah Jazz, little kid Utah Jazz. And so that was one of my favorites. We're in the middle of the season right now. I have also uh, helped coach with intermediate or elementary level uh, volleyball within our elementary school with my volleyball coach who's a, a PE, PE teacher and so that's really fun to get to know them and get help them learn through volleyball. They should consider this program because it really helps you grow as a person. It grows, it, your character grows, your maturity and your just level of appreciation for the littler things like helping uh, kids in elementary school or even high school kids that are younger than me. It's really amazing to help them and I think that's a really good uh, reason to consider this program. After high school I hope to attend either Torrington College or EWC or Sheridan College and pursue cosmetology. Um, I've always wanted to do cosmetology. I can't picture myself doing anything else and so I'm really excited and My name is Christian Souls and I'm from Saratoga High School. Uh, the reason the Congressional Program interested me was because of the immense amount of uh, responsibility that it could help me gain, how it could help me grow. I was just a freshman when I heard about it. They had a huge meeting at the school. Not many people signed up, but I'm like, well, I feel like it'll better me, help me be more responsible and just become a more respectable young guy. One of the things I've done for this program is to help military veterans. And one of the things I've done with the military veterans is to take down uh, fencing that's not friendly towards game, like such as antelope or deer. Um, there's some fencing around the Wyoming area that's, not, that's supposed to be sheep tight, but it also doesn't let antelope or other wildlife get through it very easily. So uh, in order to help the BLM and the veterans, we both teamed up together to take down some fencing to try to make that more friendly towards games such as antelope. They are, okay, one of the main things that I've learned through working with the veterans is the appreciation for their service and the immense amount of work that they do. The, they're so responsible and respectful towards anybody. They're just really good role models. They always talk highly of anybody and they're very honest. I've been in 4 for about seven years. I've, always raised sheep. When I was younger I also did rocket modeling, all kinds of just smaller projects. It wasn't until about my second year in that I started to get into animals. And that's when I started helping with my friend and that's when I started raising sheep. The values taught in 4-H have helped me pursue this award because they teach you responsibility. You have to take care of whatever animal you have and you also have to be compassionate with it. You can't just try to raise an animal and hope it does well. You have to spend time with it, be patient, and just overall care for it. Uh, I participated in athletics since I was in fourth grade. I started with uh, Youth Utah Jazz, that was a basketball program. Um, then I slowly started going up with still basketball uh, and rolling in track. Then in high school I started to get into golf, um, also football. I had to drop track, uh, had volunteer stuff to do, but overall it's taught me 
respect, patience, lots of patience, and just how to keep everybody cheered up. I hope to attend the University of Wyoming and get a major in criminal justice. I am uh, going to the ROTC program for the Army, and I'm hoping that that teaches me more leadership abilities and uh, helps me with uh, self-respect and respect towards others. We talk about success in life, uh, sometimes just in the academic sense, especially in my world. But um, we know that what it takes to be successful in life is not just the academic skills, but the academic skills, the technical skills, the civic skills, the employability skills. And the um, Youth Congressional Award is, is, an, is a program that really helps bring out all of those qualities in our young men and women. And um, so it, it really is uh, a, an opportunity for students to explore their community, explore their talents, their strengths, their challenges, and, uh, and, and really find out who they are through the program. And one of the reasons it's so popular here is because of the kids in Wyoming. Uh, they're self-starters. They are community-minded. They, they understand their role in the community and how in order to have the community be the kind of place they want to grow up in, they need to participate. And this program helps to start that public service aspect. And we find that once they start it when they're in their young years, and you can start this when you're 13 and a half, you don't have to complete it until you're 24. And uh, that, that starts a habit of doing community service and that's what we're so pleased with. Wyoming is the spirit of community. My name is Francesca Hinkle. I live in Cheyenne, Wyoming and go to Cheyenne Central High School. And the reason I was interested in doing the Congressional Medal Award is because um, the, I had a lot of friends in the past who did the award and so from their experiences I um, gathered a lot about the volunteer work and the personal development and how it built their character and um, we learned about the scholarship that was available with, with the gold medal and so my parents were very interested in that and so I got into it um, just trying to look into the future and uh, predict an easier time building my character and all that. Some of the things that I've learned from pursuing the Congressional Award have been personal responsibility with um, deadlines and turning in paperwork and also volunteering a lot in my community. Another thing that I learned from it was um, dedication because this award took a lot of hours and a lot of dedication for me to finish. Where I volunteered has been at the Cheyenne Regional Medical Center and I volunteered at the boutique in there which is um, all volunteer work and then I also volunteered with my local children's choir because I am very passionate about singing and so I volunteered with the younger kids to help them better their um, musical passions. Um, another place that I volunteered was with my school. I am involved in the student senate in my school and also a, a selective jazz choir and we have toured all around the city and sang volunteering at the hospital to sing for the patients and things like that. Two summers ago, I planned a trip with my family to Italy and England, and we were interested in going because um, my mom was stationed over in Naples with the Navy, and I was actually born in Naples. When we were there, I, well before we went, I planned where we were going to stay, what restaurants we were going to be eating at. Um, I, my mom kind of did all the flight things because they, she did that in one swoop, but I planned um, travel from where to where and rental cars and um, I planned what theater shows we were going to see in England. Swimming is my sport and I have participated in swimming since I was little, but competitively since I was about seven. I started swimming in high school and um, I've been an, uh, a varsity athlete for four years. I qualified for state all four years of high school. My name is Ashlyn Johnson and I'm a sophomore at Encampment High School. And the reason I started Congressional Awards was because a couple years ago my older brother did it and I really look up to him and when I saw what he was doing, I just really wanted to do that too. What I really liked most about pursuing the Congressional Award was that people really appreciate uh, all the hard work that you do, like volunteering, 
I volunteered at the Encampment Museum and pretty much what I did was I gave tours and I took care of all the different outbuildings that we had, make sure they were all clean to help kind of preserve that history a little more. And when people come, some of them get really excited when they learn about the history or if they've seen something that they had when they were a kid, which is really cool to see that. I learned how to sew from my grandma and um, so she was the one that kind of got me into the whole make it with wool thing, doing made for others, which is where you make something for somebody else and they go up and model it and everything like that. And so as I got older, I started doing my own sewing and as soon as you turn 13, you're allowed to go to state make it with wool and if you win that, you go to nationals. And so I went to nationals this year uh, in this outfit um, and got in the top 10, which is really cool. And that was really fun. It was in Arizona this year, so. After high school, what I'm hoping to do now is um, go to UW, and then after I graduate from there, go to CSU for vet school. So my name is Amelia Rosmarin. Um, and I am currently at the University of Colorado at Boulder, um, but I'm a graduate of Laramie High School. Um, and the reason that the Congressional Award has been such an important part of my life over the past few years is really that it's helped shape me into the person that I am today. Um, it's been a tremendously um, transformative experience for me. Um, I had never done something of this caliber before in my life um, with this level of dedication, um, constant dedication for two plus years, um, working every day in some way to better myself, better my community through this award process. Um, so it really has um, completely changed who I am and changed the way that I um, kind of see the world. Um, it's changed my outlook on life tremendously. So. So some of the volunteer work that I have done for this award has been working um, primarily with children with special needs. I've been um, volunteering, teaching a dance class, working a lot on motor skills. Um, that's something that um, some children um, that are developmentally delayed have some issues with. Um, and so teaching things that we necessarily wouldn't consider to be these really challenging skills like skipping or touching your toes. Um, We've been working really closely with them with that and then progressing further into you know, really dancing and dance moves and playing dance games and that kind of stuff. Um, and that has been um, just so rewarding for me. Um, I also worked very closely with the um, Laramie chapter of the Wyoming Special Olympics. Um, and I was coaching basketball. I was mostly working on individual skills. So teaching um, both children and adults, how to shoot baskets, um, dribbling, passing procedures, um, so that they can work together um, in both team environments as well as individually. So working on their individual skills, um, and then a lot of coaching for helping um, them work closely with a team. Um, so that's been great. I also spent a summer working at an equestrian camp um, for children with special needs, um, helping with hippotherapy. So um, a lot of muscles are developed by riding the horses, as well as a really strong connection between the children and their horses. Um, so that was a really great um, experience. Also had some hard manual labor involved in that one, so that was definitely a great developmental thing for me. This past summer, I went on a four-night, five-day um, expedition into the Wind River, Wind River Range of Wyoming, um, and it was absolutely incredible. Um, we horse packed in with about 10 horses and um, we set up camp. Um, I had never even slept in a tent before, let alone embarked on this huge wilderness expedition. Um, and so it was kind of nerve wracking for me. Um, this was definitely the hardest part of the award for me. Um, I love volunteering, I've always done that, um, but I had never ever been like a wilderness explorer of any sort um, and so I was really excited to get this opportunity to really immerse myself into nature um, in such an immediate and um, I mean really immersive manner I don't know what other way to put it um, and we packed in um, I learned how to fly fish while we were out in the wilderness in the Wind Rivers 
um, and we climbed a mountain. It was the first time I had ever climbed a mountain. Um, it was the Fremont Peak um, in the Wind River Range, which is the third highest peak in Wyoming, and it's actually only about like, less than 500 feet below the highest peak, which is Gannett. Um, and so that's my next plan is to go back in and climb Gannett. Um, and then I'll have the highest and the third highest, that, that works. Um, but we horse packed, um, I learned how to pack up horses, um, all the different terms and um, the different uses for all of the different things that we had to use for the horses. Um, how to set up a tent, how to pump fresh water from different water sources while we were out in the wilderness. Um, it rained one day and it extended our trip an extra day. I actually was only planning on doing three nights and four days, um, but because it rained and we weren't able to climb Fremont, we ended up extending it an extra night and an extra day, um, which was wonderful. It made me eligible for the gold medal, so um, that was very exciting. Um, but just working through our um, all of the different you know, trials and tribulations that kind of came with being in the wilderness. You can't control what's out there. Um, and so, you know, if we wanted to fish and eat that fish for dinner and we didn't catch anything, there were different things that we had to kind of plan around um, and act on the spot to make sure that we stayed healthy and happy and safe while we were there. My name is Abigail Shockley. I go by Abby. Um, I am a senior in Jackson and I'm homeschooled. The reason the Congressional Award interested me was because my brothers did it originally and so I always wanted to do everything my brothers did. Uh, looking back, I realized that the Congressional Award has been really important to me because of the relationships I've built and everything that it has developed in me with my character and speaking abilities and the courage to just go out and talk to people and promote a program and learn how to speak and develop an idea by talking to people and doing activities with volunteer work and development, developmental work. I worked at the Jackson Hole Literacy Center working one-on-one -on -one with the students. I learned how to write out lesson plans and work with them on reading just elementary words and sentences. I, my, both my parents are teachers and so some of it came naturally to me but I also learned just how people learn things. You can't just throw it in their face, you have to present it well and you have to create interesting ways to keep their attention and work with them. I also worked with the Jackson Hole Special Olympics team with basketball and track. I was a peer coach. Um, before I joined the Special Olympics team, I had never really had much interaction with those with special needs. And so it was a really interesting growth opportunity for me to learn how to just present the simplest idea to them and get them to try and um, do it themselves with dribbling, shooting. And then I also, the biggest thing I took away with the Congressional Award uh, volunteering with the Special Olympics team was probably just how how joyful the athletes were in their lives although although some might say that they couldn't do things well they gave it everything they had whether it was trying to just get ready for a dance or a race or a game they just lived life to the fullest and so it was neat for me to reflect that back on my life and see if I'm doing that with what God has given me I hope to major in uh, communications and business. Uh, this following year, I'm going to go to a one-year Bible college that is in Jackson. After that, I'm looking at a Christian college in California. This is one of the few non-competitive things that kids can be involved in and get national recognition for it. This is the only program that Congress does that is a charity that doesn't have any federal money in it. We have to raise the money uh, individually for the foundation in order to be able to put this on and have been able to do it significantly in every state that's adopted it but none have adopted it like Wyoming. Well this was one of the largest classes ever which shows it continues to be vibrant and exciting uh, in Wyoming you know you see the enthusiasm and the optimism on the faces of the people and this is one of those things kind of like the Hathaway scholarship they don't have to compete against somebody else they just have to compete 
among themselves, within themselves, to meet a number of criteria, set goals, and then accomplish it. And absolutely every young person in Wyoming can earn this award, but it takes time, it takes a commitment, it takes setting a goal, uh, working on it and giving back to the community, and we're just continuing to try to get the word out to get more and more students participating. So what I've taken away from this award is that it's so important to help people and give back and that some they're so grateful for it and kids in my community from all the volunteering that I've done, they're so grateful for it and I'm grateful for it because I've improved on my piano and it's given me an incentive to learn more as I go through my lessons and my recitals for piano and my physical fitness goals and helping my family plan trips in the summers or spring break and things like that. I would encourage the youth of Wyoming to try to consider for this award because it's such a good program. It teaches you so many things that I could not have learned anywhere else. It teaches you respect, responsibility, and overall gets self-motivation up really high. Other youth considering this award um, really should go for it because it betters you as a, as a person with your character and it also teaches responsibility and discipline and helps in building your community with all the volunteer work that we do. I mean I have had over 400 hours of volunteer work and that has also helped me with my college applications and um, bettering myself as a person. If there are any other youth out there that would want to do this program, I encourage you to do it because it's just a real eye-opening experience and it really helps build you up and your community up and it's actually really fun too. If you're younger and thinking about doing this award, I would wholeheartedly encourage you to do it. I originally probably joined the program because of the free trip to DC, but looking back, as I look at the relationships that I've developed and the growth that has happened in me, I wish I could have that preparation beforehand. So if I would tell a younger person what they're going to do, it, it would just be, I would suggest them to do this program because of the, the growth and the character and the maturity that you gain by participating in this program. Um, mentoring children um, has influenced my belief in wanting to become an elementary teacher. Um, because I've been able to help them, I want to go further and help them as a teacher, um, help them become better so that they can help others.